ship power. If everything was instantaneous, you would hoard resources and then just go on a buying spree? Probably. What is this? I wish things had names. Like, what the hell am I looking at here? What is this? Oh, big fuel tank. Sorry, it was at the top. Advanced propeller, copper propeller. Advanced engine, standard engine. Sturdy sails, trusty sails. Big fuel tank, standard fuel tank. Semi wooden hull. Solid can, huh? They consider the ideal pace would be island ship, island ship, island ship. That seems to be the gameplay loop, and you're right. That does make sense for uh, how to keep you in that. All right, I need to go collect two wood. I would like to get a new ship body. Two wood. Would that also ruin anything else I'm working on here? Flax, iron ingot. Nope, that's perfect. Everything else is copper. No. Yeah, yeah, the automation is something I want. Like, even with the crops, it'd be nice if, like... Because <coughs> manpower is a resource in this game. It'd be nice to make it so, like, I could say, make me as much coal as I have the pieces for, and then have villagers put them in the hold for you. Same thing with the crops, like, have them collect the crops. Like, we're already using manpower as a resource, like, let me allocate it for automation's sake. But hey, the game's in early access, this is the kind of stuff that might end up being the case later on. Two wood, two wood. Sometimes I can grapple it, sometimes I can't. Uh, yes please, definitely want you. Throw out your clip like a grenade. I think I want that too. Can I just get an SMG? We need scrap metal for the SMG. I have three copper. Well, now I have four copper, right? Yeah. I think it makes more sense to maybe uh, save that copper for getting the SMG clip upgrade and then getting an SMG. Because the sniper rifle, like, you're using that far away. Throwing your clip like a grenade, I don't see that being super helpful. I would like a new ship body. I thought you wanted to replace your flesh body with a ship for a moment. I mean, if I could be a, a spaceship, I'd be a spaceship. I could be the Farscape spaceship. All right, the boots! I forgot about the boots! Those were on my agenda for so long. I already bought them. There, fully outfitted. Let's go get some wood. Whitefin. 
Oh, two wood. Place I've already liberated. No coal. There we go, it's just free money in space. No reason to leave that behind. There's my wood. Whoops. All right. <laughs> Just eats you out of there, it does. Is that another repair kit or is that scrap metal? They look very similar to me. That's a repair kit. Ah, why not? I mean, it's here and it's free. Covers the wood we were looking for. Might take a trip to Turtle Town. Hit up the shops. Can I fast travel to Turtle Town too? No. But they do have a fuel station, which means if I go to a fuel station. I can fast travel there pretty easy. This is the I need the stupid bird thing for that, so let's just hit up this fuel station and fast travel to No coal boo Fast travel to Turtle Town. Do this? I got stuck, so that that's a point to you, I suppose. Whatever. Sorry, did I just blow up an innocent ship? I wasn't wasn't looking at which gun I was firing at the time. Something blew up. Probably, probably a bad person if, if I shot someone by mistake, though. Look at that parking job. I would like to go to Turtle Town, please. Turtle Town has a good shop. A little shopping. Malik, what's up? Ah, oh, you milk.
All right, let's get some flax seed. A couple of cotton seeds. A couple of jute seeds, some nettle seeds. Some swarm plant seeds and some bamboo shoots. A lot of money I just spent. Thankfully, I have a lot of sellables. My dumb random fish. Where are my cabbages? As far as I know, cabbages are only worth selling. 680? Man, cabbage is just money. Just got a check for Kennedy. Oh no, you sold Kennedy. Does anyone know where a guy could find a person to hang out with, talk to, and enjoy spending time with? Just asking for a friend. <gasps> ba -dum Very good joke, Andy. Alright, you sell livestock. I don't have a field yet. I can ignore that. Oh! Redwood, aluminum ore, iron ore, copper ore. Well, I could just come here and bought these things. But good to know. Bamboo, nettle, swarm, jute. Alright, I bought all that from the other shop. Scrap metal, maybe. Scrap metal? Come on. White front turret. Well, we trade for these. Interesting. For swarm scales. Or plates. Or gears, we can get turrets. Do you sell plates? I need plates. 421, you weren't you weren't wrong. There's definitely going to be island decorating going on here. Pool table, chess table. I don't know where to get plates. That's just weird to look at. All right. Rumor has it in the first era of ashes, back when humankind lived in tribes, there was a people that worshiped moths as gods and built massive statues in their honor. How daft is that? Hey, blue boy, what's up? How's it going? All right, did a little, a little bit of buying, a little bit of selling. Anything I want to liberate between here and home? Okay, my attack power is high enough now that I could theoretically handle almost all of these islands. Yo, a little fluff. Liberate. Just chilling, nice. Tempted to hit up Whitefin. There are two mod boxes here. Eh, we got the fuel station. Let's just fast travel. Wait, what am I doing? I can fast travel back to the father ship. Uh, 
Ah, yes, where we bring them democracy and liberate them of their oil. We're doing them a favor? <laughs> Let me liberate you of your wallet. It is holding you back. Let's plant some swarm seed. Some nettles. Make some nettle tea out of that. Oh, I was out there. I should have been looking for scrap metal. That's iron ore. Some gears floating in space. Wood. Scrap metal is a little harder to come by, it seems. Let's see. My internet's doing all right at the moment. No, no drop frames on my end. <laughs> Bring freedom to these islands. All right, we're at a we're at a sky coal. We got three copper ingots, but we know what we're doing. You keep seeing the same part over and over again. Try, uh, try giving it a refresh. Random destroyed airships. I've been finding a lot of repair kits on random airships. I need to need to keep my eyes open for. Yeah, let's do it. One more iron ingot for that. You got buttery smooth frames. Doo -doo. My new airship. Spread these frames on toast like fucking jam. No, I would like to change airship. Ah, look at this beaut. A fine new boat. It's a more streamlined penis-shaped ship, thank you very much. Oh god! I could keep it with its engine still going. Oh, I can see what you're talking about. I keep on getting uh, repair kits and not scrap metal. Maybe if we blow up the ships. All right, you're not blow upable. But you. Nope. Just an innocent person I killed. What are these?
I'm collecting energy? What's the ship use energy for? Oh, enemy airships. Oh. Yeah, we need more of those jerks to show up. I want coal. Give me coal. Ooh, these could aim straight ahead. Oh, yeah. Way better airship. I do not regret making a new ship. You! I need... It's scrap metal. Come on, drop scrap. Like, I'm, I'm assuming energy does something for this ship. I'm just not sure what. Last ship didn't get energy. More sky coal. Good old, you know, the confusing fishing minigame. game. It's the font. The font makes it confusing for me. More sky coal this way. Come here. You? I'm not repairing the ship again, you little jerks. Every time, every time I shoot in the wrong direction. Hey, finally, scrap metal. Change my mind, Gramps. A lot of potential sky coal here. Now that strikes me as disingenuous right there, Gump. <laughs> you can't hear what spelling I use when I talk. A very generous spell, I guess. Uh, 
I mean, I'm here. I might as well get some more sky coal. Sky coal in the world of tomorrow. I know what I heard. Take a moment to do some repairs. Debris here. We need the moths to move it. Gotta find some moths. Take a look at the layout here. I think I want to go along this inside path, see about getting that box. Inside path, not happening. Yet. Yep, I need that copper ore. Give it to me. You know what you heard, and so do we. Man, that hasn't been the slogan at that movie theater for years, and we're still, still doing it. And we'll never stop. I like that heal. like thread the needle with my airship or of course sometimes I say things just to make sure Chris hasn't been replaced by a doppelganger today he passes you know who you are and so do we I miss the threatening energy the movie theater brought to it with that one. It's like, if you talk, we'll find you. <laughs> we'll fucking kill you. It's a lot of experience just out, out in space. You dislike it when I find clever solutions that the game doesn't let me use? Yeah, it makes me a little sad too. Ooh, that was some loud thunder. I definitely hit what I was aiming at. 
what the solution is to that, I do not know. Used a lot of my gun's ammo for that, too. Yeah, it's probably a moth. Like, if you're an open world game with any, any, uh, hint of sandboxiness to you, you should have, like, like, yeah, an explosion will open this. What kind of explosion? Doesn't matter, as long as the player figured out an explosion. Uh-oh. Reward creative thinking on your player's parts. Copper ore. Don't mind if I do. Why are you killing those baby moths? Oh, it's it's like an enemy spawner. Broken stairs under attack. Come on. Trying to save Grandpa over here. Damn it, Grandpa. <laughs> ah, broken stairs. Eight enemies have shown up here. No, that's how many people live there. All right, well, it is close by. Let's go keep those people safe real fast. Another thing would be nice is like, there are people here. Let me uh, spend resources to outfit those people with defenses. That way, instead of me having to rush over to save everyone, they can protect themselves. Very low in ammunition. That was the last bullet. Good thing I have plenty of gun. All right, where are these stupid enemies? Oh, 
I'm hoping they're on like the main chunk and not all the stupid little mini islands. So far that seems to be the case. I don't see anyone around here. I don't see anyone, period. That chunk right there. Which I think... Yeah, 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 there they are. Hot like Miami, these little jerks. I don't think he's seen me yet. Good thing we snuck up on him. Well, I'm bad had he noticed me attacking him at any point. Scrap metal. So that's nice. Stealth in games never made sense to you? Stabbing you and shooting you in the face? I mean, normally, they notice and, like, react. That guy got, uh... That guy's AI got a little borked, I think. But I know what you mean, like... The idea is, of course, when you attack someone, they react and then you hide and they're like, Well, I guess the problem's passed. Metal Gear Solid is my favorite for that. You, like, pop out... You knock a man unconscious, people find him, they react to it, and then like five minutes later, uh, they, they're probably dead by now. Like, we don't have to worry about whoever did this. It's like he made a mosaic out of our friend's corpses. I don't think we should just let our guard back down. No, no, I, the trouble's passed. The time has come to forget all about it. You want to make an espionage, espionage game with sufficiently competent AI? It's tricky because in in a real world scenario, in an enclosed environment, like uh, let's use Metal Gear Solid 2's tanker segment, right? It's a boat. You know the person who's attacking you has to still be on the boat. You would never let the guard back down. Like, it would be high alert forever. Granted, like, you would re reallocate manpower to be in the area where the person less struck. Like, you would never... It would be hard for the player. You fuck up and the fuck up cascade would really never end. Like, hiding is really just a way to reset the fuck up cascade. An enemy with limited manpower, yeah. 
Hitman games? The Hitman games... I like the new ones quite a bit, but they still have the... Oh, the problem's probably passed by now aspect. Give the player op- so, uh, Represent guard fatigue, boredom, resistance to false positives, so you can give the player opportunities when the guards are alerted. That's true. I'd be curious to see what it plays like. Realistic stealth AI works best in the 4v1 type scenarios so that have become multiplayer games. No longer AI at that point, but yeah. Game jam with dots. Triangles. Dots. Dots lack the, the information. about this like your island is under attack thing that I don't like is the islands are huge and it's like a game of like where where is the one guy left I'm guessing these enemy ships out by here are part of it which is why I'm trying to find the two that were attacking me before one down. Okay, let's try and fit. Oh, is that a guy right there? I was just here killing all your friends. With my new armor, you could barely hurt me, huh? Just gonna stay in here and let you guys shoot me. I think they repopulated this little chunk when I left because that, that was the same crew of people. I think they really need to make it much more clear where enemies are for these island under attack segments. Oh, fuel. You might be what I'm looking for. There was a specific transport ship that dropped dudes off, and if you blew it up early, make the entire mop up easier. In the stealth game? Yeah, there's definitely like a little bit of that it's clearly an early access experience and <coughs> things will be different. Ooh, 
Nice though. What more do you want from me? Is this liberated yet? God damn it. Oh, all the way out here? Fine. Wonder how much their interest is in the base building versus the immersive sim stuff. Yeah, I'm curious where the overall focus will go into the mid to late game stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, <laughs> I want to protect this stupid island, but it's such a huge series of just tiny little dots. It's annoying trying to figure out where the enemies are. They just kind of put vague markers down, so I'm guessing we have to go back out to the, the chain of islands somewhere out there. I'm supposed to be saving my grandpa, damn it. Supposed to be saving my grandpa. Gramps, sorry. I have to defend a series of tiny, hard to defend islands. goes to the ground now. Like, we are getting into a complaint that I often have with these sort of games, which is... things slow down after a while. Now. Like we're rolling into the uh, do the same thing a lot territory. Come over here, let me melee you. Yeah, I melee the missile. The curse of Far Cry. Like, the goal is you make your gameplay loop satisfying enough that it doesn't matter that your player is doing the same thing a lot. And I think Far Cry, there's enough variety into the dumb stuff you do. Like, oh, there's a dumb outpost. I've assaulted like 30 of these outposts. But this time, I'm going to use three bears and a gazelle to take it over. Last time, it was just me and a gun. It's a little harder to do that here. That's the problem. The island defense is just the same thing we did to liberate the island in the first place. I need this to be different. But it just becomes a series of like weird little manhunts. It'd be more fun if it's like your island's under attack and it's literally like when you arrive a new mini event happens. Like don't have people already there, have it so you arrive and then a game happens of defend the islands. Like you could shore up defenses. Like it has furniture. It has like placeable objects. Let me place barricades. Let me place turrets. Like there are there are turrets. It'd be more fun to have the timer be show up and that's how long you had to defend the island. Or rather, not even defend, how long you have to shore up the island's defenses before the attack happens. I think that would be a little bit more fun. 
Let me show up, place a bunch of turrets. Finally, we did it. Ooh, get some caffeine in you. Enjoy doing cleaning, but thanks for coming by, Ironcore. The textures are Chrono Triggery. They do remind me of like old school JRPGs on the Super Nintendo. So yeah, now that we're done defending the broken stairs to, to consolidate my thoughts a little bit better. So we had the 15 minute timer show up. The place is under attack, right? After those 15 minutes, the island is lost and they own it. That's dumb. Because that's exactly what I did when I showed up in the first place, is I just found the people, shot the people, and then the island was mine. Instead, have 15 minutes until the island is attacked. You have a spy with the Falcons. You can even make that, like, a, a distinct resource you could somehow take advantage of. Like, let me put manpower because again manpower is a resource in the game uh but we're not using it in ways that are terribly fun so let me use manpower to like put spies out there put feelers out information networks the more you put into it the better a timer you get so like oh in in 15 minutes island x is going to be attacked i then show up and i put resources into defending that Place turrets, place people, place barricades. I think that would be a way better way to defend these dumb islands. Or at the very least, more fun. And that's, generally speaking, the goal, you know? Increase the amount of fun a player has. You like the portraits of the good pixel crinkles of the islands? Yeah. Love the look of the game. And I like a lot of the gameplay loop. It's just, uh, I feel like it could be a little bit better. Island defense being a big one. Let me take more advantage of these turrets and stuff. I guess I could. Like, I could place turrets. I wonder if they will work if I'm not there. Alright, I got some scrap metal. Which means maybe that SMG is going to join the party here? Let's see. One more iron ingot. I can do that. Plant for the three seconds that's doing its thing. Plant some jutes! Be neat if there was a secret don't colonize the locals path from what it sounds like that's kind of what we're going for is uh breaking free from like a awful group super mario galaxy joining the party huh excuse me oh super mario smg i get you. um you funny all right, SMG gotten. Get the SMG magazine. Come on. Really? It's still a pistol slot? Boo. I was really hoping that would take that slot. Too much curry face sweats. The curry's delicious. Like, obviously I'm sticking with my sniper rifle, because my sniper rifle's amazing. Oh well, don't regret buying it. Let's make some more copper. <laughs> 